It's a super exciting day here in Wellington. It's our first proper look at the new 12-speed Shimano Durace Road Group set. And of course, my first question was about the new cassette and whether it's compatible with existing Wheelworks wheels. And the quick answer is yes, that new 12-speed cassette will drop straight onto your existing 11-speed wheel, whether that's one of our Wheelworks wheels or from another brand. I'm Tristan from Wheelworks. Let's take a closer look at this new cassette and free her body and see how all this is possible. So the first thing is the lock rings. And what's super cool here is that we're using the same tool between the current 11-speed lock rings and the new 12-speed lock rings. And this is great news from a compatibility point of view. It means if I can get it to fit, it means that uh, the same tool that's been in the Shimano toolkit since 1973 is gonna work on all the new stuff. Awesome work, Shimano. So the easiest way to really look at the new Freeha bodies is to look at a single cassette cog like this. And here you can see we've got the 11 speed cassette cog and you can see these massive lobes on the splines. These are what interface with the, with the free hub body. On the new 12 speed, you can see that essentially the same, but they've been cut in half. They've just got this little notch taken out the middle of them. And that's what allows the new 12 speed cassette to fit onto an 11 speed free hub body. But it means that the 11 speed cassette will not fit on the Durace only wheels that have that new free hub body system. But backwards compatibility wise, it's absolutely awesome. Again, good job Shimano. So the new cassette is available in two different ratios. We've got this one here, which is the 11 to 30, and it also comes in 11 to 34. It's interesting to note that the 11 to 30 is the smallest cassette. There's no 28, there's no 25 anymore. Bit of a sign, compact cranks, big cassettes, they're here to stay. The um, main difference on the 12 speed 11 to 30 is the inclusion of the 16 tooth. That was a cog that a lot of people really missed in the, in the wide ratio 11 speed cassettes. So I think it's absolutely awesome that they brought that back on the 12 speed. On previous 11 speed cassettes, all of these spaces have been the same thickness, but a little trap for young players here. There are two different thicknesses now. There's a slightly thicker one, which goes on first, and then the thinnest, which goes on last. And here, the moment of truth, we've got our dial hub with our 11 speed free hub body on it. And we've got our brand spanking new 12 speed cassette. Just like on every other cassette, there is a key spline. So there's one which is uh, thicker than the others. We just need to line those up. Got it there, drop straight on. And you can just see like that. Perfect. This backwards compatibility is absolutely awesome. I mean, in this era of everything being aero and integrated and nothing working with anything else, I think it's just absolutely fantastic that Shimano made the effort of making this work together. Good stuff. And of course, the most important thing, what does it weigh? The only reason you're buying Durace cassettes with those titanium cogs is because you are a baller and you are spending heaps of money on titanium lightweight cassettes. 222 grams, I mean, that is not bad for a wide range 11 to 30 cassette. Bloody awesome, Shimano, good work. There you go. We're shooting this video before the public release of Durace 12 speed, and we'll have more experience as this stuff makes its way onto people's bikes. I've got a group set order for my Cannondale, and I cannot wait for it to arrive. If you wanna keep in the loop as we learn more, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. If you've got any questions about the new Durace cassette and free hub, ask away in the comments. Big thanks to Shimano New Zealand for letting us play around with this new stuff.